uh, Wahida says, I broke a fast intentionally during Ramadan at around noon time. Some people have told me that I must keep 60 fasts to compensate. Is it true? What's the kafara for intentionally breaking an obligatory fast, like oath fasts, uh, Ramadan fasts, or while making up Ramadan fasts? There is no kafara for breaking a mandatory fast. There is only sin. So you are sinful for doing such a thing. But is there any kafara? No. There is no kafara except if you break the fasting of a day during Ramadan with or without doing intercourse. So you break your fast by eating around time, uh, noon time. And after an hour, you said, I broke my fast. I'm not fasting anymore. You have intimacy with your spouse. Immediately, both of you have to give the expiation of one, freeing a slave, which is not available, two, fasting two consecutive months. If you're unable to free a slave, you have to fast two consecutive months. Three, if you cannot fast two consecutive months, then you have to feed 60 people. That's the only time you have to feed or to fast as an expiation. When? You have intercourse during the daytime of Ramadan, whether fasting or not fasting. If you're not fasting because you broke your fast, not because of a legitimate reason, a traveler may skip fasting in the daytime of Ramadan. And there's nothing wrong in having in or being intimate with his wife during the daytime of Ramadan if both of them are travelers. Or if he's sick and his illness allows him to break his fast. There's nothing wrong in that. Insha'Allah, and I hope this answers your questions.